<laughs> Good. Hot mic on the backstage. Smoking up. Doing a show for the ladies. Hot mic. Hot mic. Smoking up. <laughs> Get those tips ready. His G strings no. looking rather empty. <laughs> click on the hot no. button to do it. get filthy from Mr. <laughs> Vaughn. Click. Mr. Vaughn. Filth click is on. like such a fun adjective. I like wow. when guitar players use it.
Blood, welcome back. It's been a few weeks. <clears throat> I'm Mike Ruggiero, the host of Theory Thursday, and we do have a great show planned for you. However, surprise, surprise, we got Gring Vaughn here. Huzzah! And, uh, yeah, <laughs> man, what's up? You sound great. Thank you, sir. Yeah, look at the shirt. Yes. I, I want to know where you bought that. Um, I bought it uh, from a hermit <laughs> on top of a mountain uh, in India. Nice. <laughs> wow, are you serious? I was on a magical journey. That's incredible. Uh, no, I actually no? think Did you get it up the street? I bought it uh, at the Encinitas Market. Mm. But from a man from Nepal who knows me very well, because for years and years I got pants and um, tops uh, so from him. Um, there's lots of really cool stuff from Nepal. Never been nice. there, but if I were to go there, and dress appropriately, I'd, I'd blend in. But as... Uh, I want one of those. It looks comfortable. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, I'm as, sure they're available in many colors. Green, purple, maybe the occasional yellow. Uh, yes. I, I, I have a yellow one. You can have it if you'd like. Serious? It's absolutely. My gift to Can I wear Thursday. it when he wears that and you guys... Get yeah, we will, be, you we will be You guys peace. should wear momos. I, Our I, rhythm I, section should wear momos. I'm fine no. with that. Yeah, uh, yeah so welcome to the movie. band Fusebox. <laughs> Thank it you. Is, uh, it might as well He's be a, a momo. An, an announcement. Uh, is it an announcement? Is yeah. it official? It's official. Greg Vaughn's in uh, Fusebox. All right. Hey. So you, we, sh we should probably do a whiskey shot. Yeah. Make it official. Yeah, I, I agree. However, it's a little, it's indisposed. We'll it's do it later. Room. We don't have, okay, later. So uh, just a few facts because there might be some questions. We know that we have a, a good uh, three or 30 or 300 of you out there watching. <laughs> I know, there's usually 3,000 people 7, watching. However, 000. all the inquiries pouring in the comment section right now, I can assure you that Anna, how do you say your last name again? Anna, how do you say your last name? Man, this Tumanova. is Tumanova. Tumanova. Anna Tumanova is here. She's somewhere close, but we're gonna introduce, uh, we're gonna provide a new dynamic to the show. But um, Anna, why don't you please come in here, my friend, if you can, are you available? We yeah, actually, she's, we're, she's good. Well, yeah. yeah, that would be great. And we also have, your, your wife is here helping uh, yes. bring, bring uh, this whole consist of this, this show together, helping us party and have fun. Yeah, come in here and have, yeah, have right. a seat, yes. Wow, look at you, the beautiful hey. Anna is Hello. here. Hello, all right. Yes. So let's hear a little bit about you and your quest because there's there's a lot to get to and, and you look very pretty by the way. Thanks. Yes. Thanks. Thanks. You're you're a traveling you're a traveling gal. What's going on? Yeah, I'm a girl from Moscow, Russia, but for the last for the last three years, uh, for the last three years, I was actually living in uh, China. So this is a this has been a really great experience for me. And right now, I've tra I've been traveling the states for three weeks. And San Diego is my last stop before my wow. trip back home. Wow, can you home. say, can you please say our city again? That sounds so pretty, San Diego. Say San it. Diego. That's great. <laughs> I like that. Yeah, that's right. Cheers. It's wonderful. Uh, do you have a drink? Oh yeah, I think I do. Is that? Uh, <laughs> and then uh, Liz, Thanks, Liz, if you if you would like to come in and say hello, if if you're if you want to look at the beautiful Liz, Greg Vaughn's wife. <laughs> right. Yeah. Hello. Uh, Mistress cheers. of the temple. Yes. Yes. Actually, I met these two beautiful people at the concert of Guns N' Roses in San Diego and Qualcomm Stadium three years ago. Mm. Yes. That's how we yes. know each other. So yes. That's been pretty good. You're welcome. Thanks. Thanks. You I can really feel appreciate free to pull it. Chair up if you want. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Yeah. I'll watch from here. Okay. And I may pop in every now. You're awesome. <laughs> there you Thanks, go. Guys. You're awesome. Uh, what a great show. Already off to some new dynamics here. It's kind of nice uh, accidentally being off for three weeks. Our, uh, no. our well, Pe not off. Not we, we, Dave and, and yeah. us put on a, a production for you last week. It, it, it went a little late. There was some interesting uh, implications. But it doesn't matter. We always prevail. We bring it to you. You just got to wait. And you know what I say? If you're important enough, people will wait for you. That's right, baby. Give me my da -da -da. Come on, oh. man. I'm sorry, my man. I wasn't on it. beloved Dusty over there. I wasn't on it. It's okay. My bad. <laughs> we, we, it's okay, man. Hmm. Imagine if I was paying him, but then I get to pay. Wasn't paying That'd it be so shitty. Yeah. Like I'm giving you 45 bucks now. James Brown. Yeah. yeah. Hell yeah. Oh, yeah. That would be great. Yo, every, so, every wrong note. Cheers. <laughs> cheers. So let's cheers. let's talk and hear a little bit more. Yeah, yes. Let's hear a little bit more about. Cheers. Um, cheers. I guess cheers. I would like to hear about China. China. Yeah. <laughs> Well, I mean, honestly, you've been here for three weeks. Yeah. Where did you land? I landed in LA, and then I went directly to Austin. 
Mm. I spent a week there. I had a lot of blues jams with really talented musicians. Wow. It was really nice. It was a lot of fun. Mm. Then from Austin, I was supposed to fly to New Orleans for the Rolling Stones concert. But because of Barry, thanks Barry, the concert was postponed a day later. So I had to cancel my flight. And the next morning I woke up and I was like, damn, I'm going to miss the Rolling Stones concert because of the Can hurricane that, that didn't even happen. So I was like... No, I'm I'm doing it. So I just woke up, I booked my flight, and I flew to New Orleans, and I just like had dinner, or whatever, and then I ended up in the pit like three meters, um, three meters from Mick Jagger. Really? <laughs> so that yeah. was really impressive, and it was my first time seeing them live. What were you concentrating on while you were looking at him? Could you smell him? Was there another sense that showed up? <laughs> Wait. Oh. <laughs> Wait. Which member? Which member are you talking about? She said Mick Jagger. Oh, Mick. Mick okay. Jagger, yeah. Okay. Well, uh, what I can say, the most memorable, memorable part of the concert was when he actually splashed the water, and I was just all soaked. Because oh. <laughs> I think he was drinking something. I'm not even sure it was water, to be honest. Uh, I mean, what does it smell like? I don't know. Mick Jagger's water. Mick probably. Jagger's. <laughs> Dude, how old is he? 87? It's probably. He's no, he's probably just. Depends there you go. And, uh, no, uh, he's, he's in great like shape. Depends. Those, yeah. They're in great shape. I'm Dude. sure they are. They, oh, yes, they, they, they are. Transfusion they, every week for Keith. They wear Reeboks. <laughs> they wear Reeboks and run the treadmill. They're amazing guys. I bet it was like, great. And the energy. How long was the concert? It was like, uh, it was supposed to start at 8, but then it started like half an hour later or something. They had actually a great warm-up band so from New Orleans. Yeah, yeah. Because they had like all these uh, brass instruments and mm. it was really unique because usually the warm-up band is like a regular setup, like guitar, bass, drums. But like in New Orleans, they did something really unique. There was like maybe a band of like 10 people on stage. Mm. So oh, wow. it was really impressive. Very cool. And, uh, were you just yeah. like up at the bar having, what, what was your drink of choice while you were observing this? I was drinking beer. What kind of beer? Uh, it was a Coors Light, the and only one that was on, sold, uh, on sale there, so... Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> stuck with it. Traveling's Not expensive. To, to choose stuck from. <laughs> so yeah, I was standing there and uh, I actually, I had a general admission ticket, but then I came there and then just some guy comes up to me and he's like, do you want to be in the pit? And I'm like, oh, come on, it's going to cost a fortune, like, I cannot afford it. And then... He's like, just buy me a beer. I'm like, really? Like, that's not possible. That's not happening. And then he's just like, there is a wrist, like wristband. And I'm like, okay. Mm -hmm. So I bought him a beer, and he just put the wristband on me. And when I was like approaching the like the area of the pit, I was still like not really trustful. I was like, you know, I'm Russian, yeah. So I was like, uh, is it actually like real? And then they're like, yeah, come in, welcome. Yeah. I'm like, oh god. And then I just like was in the first row. I just ended nice. up in the first row buying a general admission ticket that was incredible. Nice. nice. Wow. So great. Wow. So fun. That was yeah. wonderful. Everyone was obviously very nice in the pit. Yeah, it was definitely. It was the best uh, spot to watch the Rolling Stones from. <laughs> wow. Yeah. So cool. It, it, it sounded good. It sounded amazingly well. Yeah. They so. did all their famous hits and like... I was waiting for my favorite song, Give Me Shelter, and they did it like in the middle of the show. Oh, that's and a good was, song. It was really good, yeah. They had a lot of good backup singers. They had a lot of like session musicians there. It was like a huge setup. But Carl all Denson. musicians. Yeah. They're, they're an institution. Carl Denson's a sax player. Oh, sax player. Yeah. yeah, they had a lot of sax players actually in the warm up band, but then yeah. two more stayed during the concert. So oh, it was really good. Yeah, he's from here. Cool. Oh, yeah, he's here. Carl yeah. yeah, he's yeah. from okay. here. Okay. That's who, was, nice. yep. That's who was yeah. opening? Was Carl Denson? Or? Tiny. No, uh, Carl no the, in uh, the he was like in the Stones, but like, there was another band. Stones. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, that's For amazing. <laughs> He's been, yeah. I used to see him at Winston's back in the day all the time. Yeah. Tiny Universe. Like, he had his little band. He had, not little. Tiny it Universe. Insane. It was insane. Yeah. He was always amazing. Well, when yeah. you're 20 years Great old voice. going to one of the bars that we, Winston's in a different city close mm -hmm. to us, we've been associating and playing gigs there our whole life 25 30 years so when he says that it, things are so much more intimate like 20 years ago when somebody this famous you know that yeah. the, somebody that's associated with the stones now so oh, that's okay. great we have that's another a, friend like a night uh, like that you know a night with yeah. him was amazing like you know, yeah like being, we, i was there with you you and, mean like, Steve just Moore? completely get into the music and there was everybody in the band was incredible it was like is it Carl that used to also play with Lenny Kravitz? Correct. Yes. Oh my God! Yeah. There you go. Wow. He started. Local boy makes good. <laughs> yeah. Yes, he does. He's pretty incredible. There's some, yeah. uh, well, obviously, there's some uh, very talented musicians here in San Diego. Uh, I'm sure so. Yeah. Kind of just. Could yeah. you do me a favor and move closer? Oh to yeah. Crack, oh yeah. <laughs> They're trying to get in the so, shot. Uh, yeah. There, there we go. go. 
Cool. So, uh, you guys met. Greg and I spoke last night. He asked if you wanted to come in, come, come in and, uh, and, and jam with us and talk. He explained the situation, how fast it was. You were traveling from Vegas. Things, you know, things are chaotic. Things are crazy. You, you're experiencing American, s Southern California traffic, or I guess whatever. You're here now. You sent us some songs. I listened to them. Uh, we have some charts here. Are, are you prepared to uh, listen to this guy fuck it all up? No, I'm just kidding. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this yeah. is actually the songs that I sent you. So uh, in my life, I've, I've had two bands. So first one was in Moscow, my hometown. <laughs> so I had a band called Rays, and we wrote a lot of music together. It was like more like underground rock, you know, when you're 18 Fun. years old. Sure. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then uh, I, when I moved to China, I met this amazing guy from Britain, and he's an artist, and he's a great musician, and we started writing songs together. So these two songs that I sent you were the ones that we wrote together and we recorded together. His name is Gavin Munro, and uh, he's really talented. He's right now in China. Gav, if you hear me. Hi, Gavin. All right. Hi, Gavin. How are you? Hi, Gavin. We're going to butcher your songs. <laughs> Sorry. But with a very Sorry. good knife. <laughs> with, with, with love. We butcher. We apologize <laughs> ahead of time. Yeah. Uh, and, and then how do we find the songs? Demons? On YouTube? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, they are on so YouTube so far, and my so channel and on Let's Gavin's start channel. With the, with the simpler one. And then what's the, what's the channel so you can tell our viewers that... Uh, oh, yeah, one of them is, uh, uh, is called Gav, uh, Gavin Sorry. Munro. Yeah, and yeah, another one is called Anna Tomanova. Yeah, we were not responsible enough to get the full okay. channel for our okay. band yeah. that was called The Smoking Mojos. Got gotcha. And, no, yeah, four. we have our both... Uh, like uh, two of us have the channel, so you can find us there. figured it out, yeah. Cool. Three of us kind of listen. So which one are we doing now? Well, uh, we're, we're doing the one in uh, Face in the Crowd. Okay. In All B right. minor. Mm. You want me to start it, guys? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Is okay. that the one that starts great. all together? I uh, will start. No, that's the one where. Well, yeah, there's but the beginning, just, yeah. right? There's a whole beginning thing. Uh, unless you want to count it off. This is the. That one. Yep. Okay. That okay. One. Asking myself too many questions Should I stay? Should I go? The future doesn't seem so
<laughs> Sorry for the false ending. My apologies. That was that okay. Was good. Yay, okay. Sound good. Sounds good. Cheers. Cheers. I saw, I cheers, cheers. Cheers to that, man. That cheers. was fun. Good. Cool song. Love it. Oh, yeah, it's a great it's song. I have to say something. Thanks. Guns N' Roses bringing people together mm -hmm. across cultures, across oceans. Hmm. Oh, yeah. yeah they that are is, that a is positive a, yeah. spiritual force in the universe. I agree. Mm -hmm. I, I love Slash. I, uh, I once uh, performed fellatio to, uh, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I, I can't like, tell oh, that story. Jesus, it really, really happened, though. <laughs> mm. But no, I think Slash is fucking great. I was actually 14th freaking... 14th row, like, two years ago when they were here. Mm -hmm. And um, who else was really great? Richard Fortas. Holy oh, slam. yeah, the new guy. Man. He's a, he's a monster. You know what I like about him? His is... penis length. That's what I like about it. Did Liz him. give you the speech, the, like the warning about the show? Oh, uh, no, she didn't, I think. <laughs> Please. I did. Well, sorry. She's yeah, Russian. She's, I'm joking. Yeah, <laughs> she, she can handle she it. She can totally handle yeah. it. Yeah. So, uh, the thing I, if I remember correctly about Richard Fortas, the thing I love about him. The Supro Amps. Yes, Supro number one. And number two, isn't he the guy. He loves to do, you know that I love, because not all rock players do it, is that, you know, the... He loves to do, like, the chicken picking. Great fun, everybody. You know, and it's like not all, you know, you have a lot of shredders and the arpeggios, even slide, but not all rock players will go into the full, like, Chicken picking finger stuff. I agree. And I remember when he first got in Guns N' Roses, <laughs> and, and and he does product demos and things like that. I think he does them for Supro, right? And I was like, oh my god. I'm gonna do one for Fleshlight. <laughs> Jesus Christ. You need to for I'm that, keep it coming yeah. all night. <laughs> Get I think it? you should pursue that. Yeah, you keep it coming all night. You're like, do it. <laughs> so might make more money. So yeah, he's a he's a he's a tasty he's player. It's not even a grace you with that one, dude. I was I I'll was a bit like me. like emotionally. I'm like, oh, why don't they have Izzy? You know, it's like, oh, you know, why can't There's they work talk that about out? That. Yeah, and then but then I saw like some of his videos and I saw him doing his hybrid picking and chicken picking. I'm like, okay, whatever. The songs Holy are written. Stuff. I, they can go I'm out and play. To, we got technical difficulties going over here. Yeah, right? your guitar was way off. Whatever happened. Uh oh. It's all right. You can keep talking, telling the story. So, Let's ask yeah. Anna a lot more questions about. Yes. So, uh, possibly. Have you been Ubering everywhere? Or are you mm. running? You're running cars. Renting cars. Renting cars, car. Ubering, Greyhounds, planes. It's like, yeah, I Ubered comes. from New York. Yeah. You pothead. Come so, on. so what I'd like to know is, what is it like not just to perform in Russia? but to promote shows in Russia, because if you are actually promoting a show, you have to deal more with the logistics mm -hmm. and the venue and the contracts and the legal issues or the police or mm -hmm. like, what is all that like compared to China? Well, actually it's pretty similar because before moving to China, that's what I was doing. I was working for some event agencies and on mm -hmm. the side as well, on the side, <laughs> I was uh, promoting an American band. There is uh, this guy, his name is Alex Carlin, and uh, he's like been touring Russia for like ages. So once he asked me to organize a tour for his band, uh, he's from Berkeley, California, and uh, he asked me to promote his band in Russia, so I organized like three tours for him. That was really fun. That was my first uh, It was really fun. It was really fun organizing three of the tours? Yeah, it was fun for him. It was, mm. it was, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I see. It was fun for him. I had a lot of job to do, but yeah. I mean, it was really a good experience for me. I, I think I, I learned how to do that, I mean, by practice, so nobody taught me that at school or in the university, so... Uh, then afterwards, when I moved to China, I opened up my business. Uh, it's called AT Events Hangzhou. AT, Anna Tumanova, my name, yeah, so, mm. yeah. <laughs> so I opened this company, and uh, I've been doing different events there. Like, uh, So the best thing that I probably have done was, like, the establishment of, like, jamming community. Mm. Because, you know, my hobby, like, I've been traveling 
uh, the world alone since I was 18. You're alone right now, traveling? Yeah, I'm traveling the States alone, yeah. Wow. Yeah. Mm. Are you, you, so, got, you got mace? Huh? You, got, you carry like a weapon on you or some mace? Little... I'll show you later after oh, the yeah. show. Oh, okay. So, yeah. It's <laughs> a decent question. I mean, if I was a woman Let's traveling. for the camera. <laughs> ah. So, yeah. Oh, it's that <laughs> thing. No, I'm just kidding. That's, that's great. Uh, Mike, Mike has met his match. <laughs> oh, so, yeah. I knew it would be Russian. Actually, I didn't. She, uh, yeah. Russian, Russian, Russian. So yeah, that's uh, actually um, when I started this, uh, doing this. Like I, when I traveled, like everywhere I went, I was looking for jam night because <gasps> jam night Gypsy, come is in the here. best. Oh, hello. Wow, is this uh, Gypsy's first appearance? <laughs> Gypsy. This is my dog, Gypsy. I, oh think, I just gotta say, I think Gypsy this is the best show ever. ever. So far. <laughs> I think we're in the hundreds Gypsy, now. Say hi to Dave. I think this is the best show no, ever. No, no. <laughs> what, what, hey, Dave, what camera you got going for Gypsy uh, right now? What kind of beer do you want? Mine. Corona, what do you want? A she Corona? Right in on. That would be great. A would Corona it be all right if you... and a Fryer Ale. <laughs> I gotcha. <laughs> Would it be okay if you didn't? Thank you so wait, much. Wait, 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 Gypsy. Oh, wow. Here no, she comes. Wait, 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 wait. You don't want to go back up. Swill. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, I got Maybe. you. Swill. Gypsy, you ready? It's Let's the go. Thank Anybody you very else? much, Liz, for bringing Gypsy. <laughs> Gypsy, I love you so much. Oh my God. Look at you coming in here saying hi to everybody. This looks like a skit. <laughs> it is a skit. This is what's going to get us the corporate funding. I see. Is this Animals. moment right here. We're involved. back, ladies and gentlemen. New yes. and improved. <laughs> yes. All right, Gypsy. And I think we all agree Actually, and are yes. deciding to oh. stay here uh, <laughs> once a week from now on for uh, your pleasure. We were a little late this evening. But say we're pleasure. restarting the engines and we coming back swinging for you, baby. Look who's here. Yeah, nice. I know, right? <laughs> we got, obviously, uh, Greg Vaughn as well. Gypsy was just here. My gosh. And we... Uh, accidentally, but so conveniently, have a. Uh, is it okay to call as a bartender for the for the episode? Not really. No, 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 no. I don't want to say that. Call her and uh, a drink enthusiast. No, 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 no. no. Uh, an enjoyment enabler. An enjoyment. We have a new position, and a new, her name is Liz Vaughn. She is a enjoyment enabler. And, uh, I need a translation for that. Yeah. Um, <laughs> it's a fancy way of saying how uh, how yeah. beautiful and, uh, and accommodable okay. Liz is. Okay. See, okay. I got the word that Who time. Who has a fancy okay. opener? <laughs> oh, uh, he's got one on the wall. Well, oh my gosh, where'd it go? It's where? right. It's right there. Ah, right there, lit up ah. in the light. Hiding in plain sight. Thank you very much. <laughs> there we Thank are. you very much. This that is great. That's weird because what? you know I'm like half blind and, and I could see it. that. <laughs> I could see it. Good it's the you uh, couldn't see it. See Who needs this, by the way? Anna. Oh, thanks. I saw that. Thank you. Oh, okay. Got a drink. We are. We are proud. Yeah. Give it to someone uh, who really needs it. No, Actually, I you really need it. Where's the? <laughs> where's the? Where's the Friar's <laughs> ale? I could only find Corona. Oh, my love. Oh, okay. That's fine. Wow. Leave Mr. Cheers, Vaughn getting, getting persnickety I'm, oh, about the beer. <laughs> Cheers. You need to Maybe open that? I'll open opener. it. I got it. Uh, Here. Okay. We must no be careful. Okay. More refreshments have entered the studio. <laughs> wow, that's some fancy <laughs> wow. years of drumming. <laughs> Thank that's you. That's a professional right there. Cheers, Who's guys. got the cork Cheers. popper? Oh, gotcha. I gotcha. I gotcha. Wait, we got you. I got you. I got you. Yeah, okay. Oh. So as you can see, fancy and stuff. we're going to um, install a urinal. Uh, probably <laughs> right here. I mean, I think that'd be a, wow! No, did you guys even see that? <laughs> okay. you remember that? Were you, did you see that episode where I actually peed okay, in so the cup? No, you didn't. <laughs> <laughs> I'm you did? kidding. No. It was. I just I'll wanted. To, it. I wanted to Thank see you. your reaction. You're welcome. Thank you, my lovely wife. Cheers. You're okay. very welcome. Cheers. 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 We have Cheers. entered. Enjoy your show. We have oh, entered yes. the field. Are we in stage filthy? We have entered stage filthy. So as you can see in America, we are very disciplined, very structured. At practicing guitar. Hopefully, hopefully that's not a problem. When it comes oh, no, to uh, expressing ourselves and being off the cuff, <laughs> oh, look out. You come in this room, you don't know what you're going to get. <laughs> Never. You're like, you still have a chord progression to play, bub. This this one's kind of scary. Sometimes. That's why Actually, you know what I was thinking? Maybe out. before doing that, because these ones, like, it was a quite a last minute notice, so I sent you two ballads because this one is like the uh, last song that we recorded with Gav right before, like actually the day before I left China oh, wow. for, the, for oh. traveling. So maybe we could like um, something make some, a little looser. Do you say something maybe. about a blues? Do some blues. Let's do like, oh yeah. Come on. So I've I've maybe. heard you can improvise blues vocals. E okay. E. Shuffle. 
Oh, you yes. shuffle. Oh. Okay. We yeah. like E blues better than well, hard we're... chord progression. Well, <laughs> actually, I was looking forward to the port chord progression. Oh, myself. Yeah. Were you? Yeah. We'll do it we, later. We, we we, maybe maybe we can do a snapshot of it. <laughs> my, le my level of nerdness. <laughs> yes. Oh, each each, each chord is four beats, <laughs> and when there's a slash, two beats each. So that's one thing. <laughs> that's what I need for the E blues, right? <laughs> no, no. We've got the E blues. I didn't doing we've got the E blues. 12 or what? What what style? I'll follow you. Like Chicago, like, like uh, slow, shuffle. minor, shuffle. minor, or or more more Chicago. It's like uh, I'm gonna play. I'm gonna sing the song by Lord Diddley before you accuse me. Oh, uh, isn't okay. That's I think of that as a Clapton yeah. song, but yeah, uh, it but, was yeah Clapton sang it, but originally it was Bob Diddley's song. Ah, uh -huh. I see. Oh, okay. So that's uh, those are all dominant chords, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Dude, bar. that's a big. It's, okay. Bar. Okay. Mm -hmm. I like it that she knows our culture better than we do. Yeah, what song, well, she, what song are we doing? <laughs> you know those Russian girls, great. Yeah, I, 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 I want some. But I'm used to this right here. Tell me that in China. Okay, what? so what uh, what, what tempo do you want? Give us a snap. So like a, is that good? Oh yeah. Yeah. 
<laughs> Yay! That was awesome! That, that was awesome. awesome! Oh yeah, blues one. Yeah. Loved it, yeah. There you go. Is this my beer? That's my Ooh, beer, boy. No. Oh, get your hands off my beer! I'm just kidding. <laughs> Mr. Vaughn can touch my beer. Don't play and with me. Let's just gingerly touch all tips. You can drink my Russian vodka. If we were playing Mad Libs, do you think I would really write beer? <laughs> no? Dusty. No, the, the, the god darn drum set! Oof. Dusty's Dusty overheated. It's, it's, yeah. it's hot. It's, it's quite oppressive. Can it's you, very can hot. You, can you give me a... The weather well, one is line quite from impressive. Rain Man. Dustin Hoffman's oh, part. Uh, any any any, any uh, dialogue from Dustin Hoffman and Rain Man. Right now, go. Uh, let's see here, Rain Man. I remember the movie. I did see the movie. Definitely came. It was a good Kmart. movie. Do you yeah. want me to? Of course, I'm, 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 I'm a very good driver. Two, a whole box of toothpicks on the floor. <laughs> I'm a very good driver. A good, very, very, a very good, driver. good driver. That was a good one. Only yep, in the driveway. Only Wagner. the driveway, though. Wagner. Only in the driveway. Wapner's on. Yeah, Wapner's on. Jen That's right. So it, enough of the, uh, that was a great jam. You thanks. sound you sound really kick ass. Oh, thanks. thanks. <laughs> That's right, thanks. girl. Thanks. Thanks. Yes. It is getting yes. a little warm. I think, I mean, considering the company, I want to I want to go out, hang out, and talk, and, and and go drink a little bit more. So let's uh, let's tie this episode up, Mr. Thomas. Let's put some lipstick on this pig. I wait, love wait. that pig. Wait, I have a question. <clears throat> so what would it take to get us to Russia? And then we could do this. Or no, I mean China. China. You're in China now. Both. What, 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 what okay, city yes, in China? Both. Because we think uh, that you live next to our friend Richard Chen. Well, no, which is, uh, do I? Not, not the same, but close. Huh, right. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. So I live in Hangzhou. It's like one hour to the south from Shanghai. So basically it's kind of very soon will be considered as a metropolitan area Shanghai, of Shanghai. Proper. Okay. Yeah, not proper, Shanghai right. is a yeah. beautiful city from what I've seen in Indiana Jones. <laughs> I've been oh, Shanghai. Good job. <laughs> I've been Shanghai before. I've Late been Shanghai. I've gotten Shanghai. Isn't that happy? Fifty actually. bucks extra. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Yeah, I, I it think it is warm in here though. Yeah, I think this episode right it's here hot, is all she needs to hot, sell us baby. all over Europe. Right? You can just heaven. show this super professional video. Super. And the and the corporate sponsors. What corporate television. sponsors, Greg? What are no, you? No, we don't have them yet. Well, no, I'm but thinking. Where's your head? What, what do you? What, what's this? You, you're, you're plotting and scheming. I I'm love it. I'm plotting and scheming. <laughs> what, I'm thinking our own show in China. Our own show in China. Yeah, she's gonna hook it up. China. I, I heard the China, airfare. Actually, I do the jam nights in China. I do like that because actually I finished the story and then Gypsy came in. Yeah. So, so. Could you put that in a chorus? I do jam nights in China. And then Gypsy came in. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> we just wrote a song. That's a new song. All right, so yeah, when I travel, I jam everywhere. I look for the jams because when you go to the jam, you can meet like-minded people and uh, like yourselves. And like, it's it's really good to meet people on the jam nights. Like, you agree to that, right? Yeah, so I agree. Yeah, so when I came to Hangzhou and I didn't know anything about the city, it was just like a lifetime adventure. And then... Of course, when I came, like first time, like searching for apartment, whatever, like some things, and then a year, a week later, maybe a year later, no, a week later, I started looking for the jam night, and I realized that there is none. Mm. Oh wow! And I was like, no way, a city without the jam night cannot exist. There was a nun at jam night? No jam night at all. <laughs> 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 Sorry for my English, but yeah, there were no yeah. jam nights at all. <laughs> There were no jam nights at all at that time. There used to be, actually Gavin Monroe, my friend, used to host the jam night before, but they closed it down for some reason. Uh, and then when I arrived, there were no jam nights at all. So I decided to start doing them. And it was like I found I found like-minded people that wanted to do that too. So we organized it, we started in Hard Rock Cafe, and then we moved to another venue, and then we ended up in Eudora Station, which is like the downtown, very downtown venue. And then we created a community of about 300 musicians that wow. live in the city from all over the world. Mm. Like, literally, from all over the world. I want to hang out in that city. Yeah. And it's really fun. Actually, when I move out of China, I think it will happen someday, that this will, this will probably be the main thing that I'm going to be missing about mm. that. Because mm. it's so amazing to be like, in the community of people from all over the world. We had we had jammers from Philippines, from the Philippines, from South Africa, from the US, from Ukraine, from Russia, from 
um, England, from everywhere, like any country that you can think of, we had the jammer from there. Wow. And way, was... way, to, way to go out there and reach everything. Uh, uh, applause to you. That's uh, your inspiration. I, I sit in this little room and make all my phone calls. Like you're, that's. Uh, I want to get out there and tour, but you know why? Because I probably wouldn't like the sleeping arrangements. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, China is developing a lot, and it's like a super beautiful country now, and it's like full of like skyscrapers and stuff. Like when I moved to China, I didn't skyscrapers. Oh I love yeah. That. yeah, oh yeah, good. a lot, a lot of skyscrapers. Actually, I was surprised to see That's that awesome. because I didn't know no, anything. I'm not, I'm not making fun of it. It's scrapers, but you said skyscrapers. Oh, that is clearly a much more that's, that's definitive way, that's term. Way, I mean, it's like it's scrapping, way more, scrapping, way more scrapping, scrapping, I was like, man, scrapping, she's, she's coming in this scrapping, man. Yeah. yeah. Scrapping into the sky, no? <laughs> that's what that's I was good. feeling. Hey, wait, hey, babe, can I have another Corona? Because Mike stole mine. I got one for you. Okay. Am I stealing beers? Oh, I'm stealing. Okay. Hey, there's one right here. Oh, my God. I totally knew it. But. <laughs> Everybody no, no, we were fine. Beer. We've got this, beer thieves on Theory Thursday. This was my beer the whole time. Mm. Mm. What can I you do? guys saw it. So some of the momentum that Jason and Dave no. and I have been There's... talking about, and even our host drummer, which is also a new accessory to the show because Dustin Norberg is my best friend and lives 10 blocks east of me. It's very convenient for him to be here. We did put an announcement out saying that we're going to just be doing Fusebox momentarily until we find out something suitable to respond to. And you know what? Something like this is inspiring us all. Jason and I, are, we're, we're going we're gonna to give you something special next week, so I'm not going to tell you who's coming on. But you know what? It's going to be a great show. I'm Mike Ruggirello, Greg Vaughn, the new guitar player, Fusebox. Give me some love, baby. We got harmonies oh. right. And I really like, I really like uh, the stuff you're doing on hold uh, during the verse. Mm -hmm. You're, you're, you're when you're going into the alto so we, line. Are we closing out? Are we done? We're going out. Mm -hmm. Yeah, why? Well, uh, right. I just, I wanted to send some beautiful love to you, my friend. It's a pleasure meeting you and seeing you in this room and playing music. I've awesome. had a, I'm having a great time and thank you. I'm having a great time too. Thanks for inviting me. Mm -hmm. It's yes. a big pleasure, mm -hmm. guys. Yeah, thank you. Plug, plug away for a while. Plug moment. all your stuff. Your Facebook, yeah. your website, anything you want. Your jam nights. Your, the hair plugs. No, not the <laughs> hair plugs. <laughs> all right. So if you want to know the like to watch the videos from our jam nights, our group Facebook group is called Jam Night in Eudora. Eudora is like E U D O R A. Eudora Station, and there are three Eudoras in uh, China. There is one in Hangzhou in my city, and there are two more in Ningbo and Beijing. The one where I do the jams is in Hangzhou because I live there. So another one like is my YouTube channel. It's uh, Anna Tumanova. I will spell it for you. It's T. I'm Jason Thomas. She likes E. Thanks so for watching. Standing. Okay. Okay. Let's be so funky. What, what, what? We're gonna do funky, probably mm -hmm. approaching the one four five in the funk, but just really vamping the E. Think James e. Brown. Is it okay with huh? this? I'm fine. You're okay with James Brown. Yeah, yeah. <laughs>
the glass Rags is on the plate No regrets to have I'm already late Feeling that I'm lost In my own thoughts All the people say That I'm chasing down That I'm trying All the time To God's playing Let's put in time I wanna Who's that I bring? Who's scared I drink? And thoughts that 